Good morning, Pastor Mark here, and we are in week number four of Points to Ponder. I've already shared with you the dynamic of worship and of fellowship and of discipleship. And now I want to talk just for a few moments about the power of God. Do you know the power of God touches millions of people each and every day around this world? You know, the power of God shows us that God is not a fairy tale for grown-ups, but he's a wonderful reality. Without the power of God, really our faith is empty. If all we have is theory or philosophy or some intellectual argument, we'll never have a faith that changes the world. God is not a theory. He's real and he is full of life and full of power. You know, here's what the Bible teaches us. The power of God must be the foundation of our faith. And that faith of any believer should not be founded in religious reasoning, but on the power of God. The Apostle Paul said in, to the Corinthian church in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5, he said, My message and my preaching were not with persuasive words of earthly wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. Think about it for just a moment. If we can discuss and reason all of our life, but then the power of God touches and transforms us, words probably wouldn't be no longer needed. Then we know with every part of our being that God is real, that he loves us, and that he wants to heal us and save us. You know, many Christians, well, they know about the cross of Jesus Christ where they receive forgiveness of sins, but many never take the next step into the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. The cross really is the love of God. We know that. But the resurrection is the power of God. When we make the transition of forgiveness of sins into the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, he can display his victory in our lives and through us, even to others. We need both the love of God and the power of God. Without the love of God, his power would be destructive. But without the power of God, his love would be useless. We know that the power of God is the hallmark of his kingdom. You know, Jesus Christ did not bring a nice, fluffy, weak religion into the earth. He brought the powerful reality of the atmosphere of God. We call that the kingdom of God. God wants that to become a powerful reality to all of us. Not a nice idea or faith for us just to hold on, but a life-changing power that heals the sick and shows the world that God is real and that God is here. Church, grace and community, let's walk in the power of God. Thank you and God bless.